Hey, Omis, welcome into Om Yoga. I am Mary Omira. This is our 20 minute power vinyasa detox flow. We're working into some twisting, getting into the side body as well to open everything up. Don't worry, I will offer layers for everyone. So if you are new, still stick around. We're gonna go ahead and begin today at the back of our mat in a standing position. All right, so once there, let's go ahead and take our feet hip distance apart. Let's begin in mountain pose. So let's take the shoulders up towards the ears, relax them down, let the palms face forward. And take a moment to close the eyes here if we can. But if that causes you to feel uncomfortable or dizzy, by all means, keep them open. Just find a spot to gaze down in front of you. Taking a moment to integrate into our practice, let's connect with our breath. Wherever you are, take a big audible exhale out through the mouth. Inhale in through the nose. Big exhale out through the mouth. Go ahead and seal the lips. Inhale in through the nose. And out through the nose. few more rounds like this. Last one. And slowly begin to open the eyes. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky or Vahastasana. Exhale, bring our hands to our heart center. And again, bring the gaze back down to the fingertips. You can keep your eyes open here. I just want us to take a moment to think about an intention. So with our detox and twisting yoga, we help to work our solar plexus, our Manipura chakra. And this helps to release anger, frustration, resentment, but also helps us to bring in joy and happiness so what is it that we need to focus on today? Do we need to allow for a release? Do we need to allow for anything to come in? Okay, so let's take a moment, take a big deep inhale in through the nose, into the belly in the area we're working. Big audible exhale. And slowly release the hands by the sides. We're gonna find our flow. Inhale, arms sweep up, Urdhva Hastasana. And as we exhale, we're going to forward fold, walk the hands forward to the top of the mat, towards the top of the mat, find your high plank pose. You're going to either stay here, find a cat and cow, or you're going to inhale to hinge forward, exhale, lower into your chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to change things up just a little bit. We're going to inhale, look forward. Exhale now, step to the top of your mat. Big toes to touch. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Inhale, we rise, flat back, arms up, Urdhva Hastasana. And then we're going to exhale, right hand down the right thigh as the left arm reaches up and over, half moon. Inhale through center. And exhale, we switch. Left hand down, right arm up. Inhale back to center and exhale forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale either your cat and cow or your version of your vinyasa will meet in down dog. And again, we're gonna inhale to look forward. Exhale, step, maybe you add a hop back to the top. Half lift, fold, rise, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, half moon to the right. Really engage your quads here. Inhale, center, half moon to the left. Back to center, forward fold. Halfway lift. We'll meet in down dog, vinyasa your way. Okay, we're gonna inhale, look to the top. Exhale, step your way back. Big toes touch, halfway lift, fold. 
Inhale, sit into our chair pose, Utkatasana, arms up. We're gonna exhale, take the hands to the heart center. Take just a moment here, look down, bring your shins back so you can see your toes. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Really pull the belly in here. We're gonna hinge forward. Then we're gonna exhale into our prayer twist. So I want you to focus here, the elbow to the knee, but don't let the right knee scoot back. Keep the right knee forward, lengthen, press your palms together here to open the chest. Squeeze the inner thighs, get strong through the feet. You know, we're gonna look down, you're gonna lift your left foot up, and then we're gonna exhale, step it back into our revolved crescent. Okay, here again, you can press your palms towards one another, squeeze the inner thighs, gaze up over the right shoulder if you can, then really lengthen and strengthen out through your left leg. And keep breathing. I know it gets frustrating. <laughs> That's what we're working out. And now you're gonna take your left hand down, right arm opens, revolve runner's lunge. And then from here, we're gonna take the right hand down. You're gonna step your right foot behind you for your wild thing. And you're gonna open up. And then we release and vinyasa. Two hour down dog. Inhale, look forward. We're gonna exhale, step our way back to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Inhale, chair pose. You know where we're going. <laughs> Hands to heart as you exhale. Again, bring the shins back a little bit. Pull the belly in, sit a little bit deeper. Inhale to hinge forward. Now we're gonna exhale, twist over to the left. Think about your left knee here. Keep everything in line. The deeper you sit, the more you're gonna ask of the quads. You can do it. They're strong muscles, they're capable. Okay, bring your gaze down. Lift your right foot up, squeeze the knees together here though, and then step the right foot back into your revolved crescent. Press the palms together. This will help to lift the heart up. Activate and engage with your right leg now. Maybe you gaze over the left shoulder. Breathe into this. Right hand down, left hand down, gently. Then you step into your wild thing, open up. Okay, so we're just reversing all the twisting we just did. And release, vinyasa, we'll meet in down dog. Making sure you're connected to breath. The challenge with twists is that it can feel more challenging to breathe because we're squishing, uh, squishing the lungs. <laughs> So how can we use our mind and focus the breath through the back side of the body instead? Okay, inhale, look forward, exhale, step or hop back to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in, fold, breathe out. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale to hinge, exhale, prayer twist to the right. Can you sit deeper? Again, quads, big muscles. They can do a lot. Press the hands together, lift the heart towards the hands. Maybe you gaze over the right shoulder. Gaze back down to the floor. Lift the left leg up nice and slow. Step it back, revolved crescent. Press the hands. This is the leverage here to open the chest. Strength through the back heel. Left hand down. This time, step directly into wild thing. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Again, look forward on your inhale. Step, hop to the top with an exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in, fold. Utkatasana, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, prayer to the left. 
Squeeze the knees, press the palms, lift the heart. Gaze down to the floor, lift the right foot up, exhale, step it back, revolved crescent lunge. Breathe into this. Squeeze the inner thighs. Right hand down, wild thing. Vinyasa. Up dog. And down dog. Okay, last time through. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top. Halfway lift. Fold. Chair pose. One of two. That's all we have left, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart, hinge, revolve to the right. Squeeze the knees together. Use your breath. Lift the left leg up slowly. Step it back slowly. Lift the heart. Breathe. You've got this for three, two, and one. Left hand down, wild thing, open up. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. All right, we have one more time through. Pedal the legs a moment here. Look forward, step or hop to the top, halfway lift. Fold, Utkatasana, last one. Let's enjoy it, hands to heart. Hinge, twist to the left. Squeeze the knees together, press the palms, lift the heart. Gaze down, lift the right foot up nice and slow. Step it back, revolved crescent lunge. Right hand down, wild thing. Vinyasa will meet in down dog. Look forward on your inhale, have a seat on your exhale. Oh my goodness, okay. <clears throat> so if your quads are on fire, you are not alone. I'm right there with you. Had a very <laughs> challenging class yesterday and my legs are tired because of it. So, but we don't have to be challenged the day before in order to be tired. Could just be where our energy is at today. Okay. And that's okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to come into a um, seat here. We're only doing one core thing today. You're welcome. Although you might have just preferred to do one chair, but <laughs> it didn't work out that way. All right, let's find our boat pose. So if you have back issues, you're gonna stay lifted. Otherwise, shoulders up and down, lean back. Okay, I'm gonna show you where we're gonna go really quick. We're gonna come into a Russian twist. Okay, so you can stay lifted for this and just gently twist. You could even take and like, you know, take your fist down like you're holding something, but not. <laughs> okay, so that's a modified option. Another option is to open up. Okay, find where you need to be today. Here we go. Don't worry about your breath so much because you are gonna breathe through it. Okay, here we go. Four, three, Two, and one, come up. Baddha Konasana, open the knees, feet together. Scoot the hips back a little bit, lift the heart, lift the chest. And we fold. Breathe into the inner thighs here. Or wherever you may feel any tension at the moment. So twisting is either loved or loathed. 
and I'll share today, I definitely loathed it. I definitely loathed it. I've got some frustration that I've got to work through and I felt it within my tissues, okay? So our emotions are held within the um, energetic body, the chakras, um, but uh, also um, in the physical body within the tissues. All right, let's go ahead and come back up. We're gonna find our way to down dog. It's like I'm holding on right now and my legs were doing the exact same thing. Okay, downward facing dog. Let's take the right leg up. We're gonna exhale half pigeon. Let's work on releasing. Okay, so the twists, lift the heart, lift the chest, and then gently walk your hands forward. You always have the option to stay lifted. I want you to focus on drawing the right hip back, left hip forward, squeeze the inner thighs. So our twists help to detox in this sense that they massage the internal organs, um, but they're also helping to massage the lymphatic system. And when we twist, we work our Manipura chakra, solar plexus, which is where anger, resentment, frustration reside. But as I said, on the flip side, so does joy, happiness, right? So it's the balance that we want to come to the middle. As I say, it's, it's important to get angry when it can feed, um, when it can feed us, okay? In the sense that it allows us to speak up for ourselves, um, to speak when we see something that, you know, isn't right. But to be too angry, it just burns us out, right? And it eats us up. So there's beauty in our emotions, and it's about learning to work within them where the power lies. Walk the hands back, lift the heart, lift the chest. We're going to exhale back to downward facing dog. Here we're going to take the left leg up, breathe in, and we're going to exhale half pigeon. Lift the heart, lift the chest. And then we're going to exhale to fold. You can also stay lifted and you can lower all the way down if you'd like. Gentle squeeze of the inner thighs. And so once we have let out our emotions, right? So I let out some anger and frustration um, with the situation earlier today. I let it out. And as we let out, it creates room for the new and so the new that we want to invite into this space is joy, contentment, <laughs> happiness. But if we are bubbling up with anger, um, we're not allowing ourselves to let steam go, right? Um, but we're also blocking space for joy to come in when we are stuck in anger. Just a couple more rounds of breath. We're going to walk the hands back, lift the heart, lift the chest. We're going to exhale, downward facing dog. And we're going to look forward, step forward, have a seat. And we are now going to make our way onto our backs for a very simple but needed Shavasana. So go ahead and lay down. Once you're there, let your shoulder blades come together under the spine, lift the heart a little, feet fall out, eyes close. And just as we brought attention to what we wanted to bring in in the beginning or to let go of, I want us to do the same here. And can we notice the space that we have created and allow in the emotions that we want to be flowing freely within our body?
And slowly begin to wiggle your fingers, your toes. Turn our head from side to side. And inhale, extend the arms up overhead, full body stretch. And exhale, draw your knees to your chest, give yourself a squeeze, and find your way to your favorite side. Use your bicep as a pillow and pause. May you allow for the space that has been created on your mat to go with you beyond. And when you're ready, press yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat. And once there, go ahead and take your hands to your heart center. Let's gaze down to our fingertips or close the eyes. It's from the bottom of my heart to yours that I thank you for allowing me to be your guide today. Hands to our lips, may our words always be kind and true to others, but most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, center of our intuition and divine light. The highest in me honors and recognizes the highest in you, and together in this place and in this space, we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of you. Namaste. All right, Omis, this was our power vinyasa yoga detox flow. Um, 20 minutes is what we are, well, it's longer than that, but <laughs> these shorter classes are what we have going on right now. Let me know, um, how do you feel within the twists? Do you love them or do you loathe them? You can give me a thumbs up. Well, no, because some people might think you might not like the video. <laughs> Just let me know. Do you love them? Do you love them? And I will see you again next Saturday at 8 a.m. for a brand new flow. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. I'll see you again next week.